welcome to another week in review, our top five videos this week in no particular order. Why should you attend Mac 2020? It's the MTD podcast. In this podcast, we discuss the reasons why you should attend Mac 2020 with Tom Lane from the Manufacturing Technology Association, MTA. We discuss the education work aspects, the innovations and the technology and the networking opportunities at the UK's largest manufacturing show. I think the one thing I've noticed from working in this industry, engineering and engineers have brilliant minds and come up with great ideas, but they just expect people to understand it immediately what it is and they don't explain it. And if you explained half of the things that they did, your jaw would never leave the blooming floor because it's fascinating what people do, but it's getting the message out there and doing it in a unique way. And I think that's what kind of works with MTD because you guys go in and you've got a visualisation of what's going on. Publishing is having all the technical specs and reading about it, it's absolutely great, but that means you've got to go to the exhibition to see it. And I think you kind of bridge the gap a little bit in terms of the visualisation and the technical specifications that you give there to give people a nice entry point of why we should be using this technology, why we should look at these processes, why something new is coming in and it's important to be on board, that be it your industry for you, additive manufacturing, the buzzwords at the minute. So I think it plays a vital part in trying to get the general public to understand what's going on. In at number two, we made more money thanks to how fast it was making these parts. Lindsay talks with Clive about the company's recent investments in the XYZ machine tools. This is a perfect demonstration of transitioning your business into CNC machining in order to become more profitable. And because this now runs automated on its own, I can be at another area or on the CNC lathe and doing jobs in that sense while this is running. And so I guess per cost per part, you're not seeing those benefits as well. They're going to give you a cost per part, but you're kind of forgetting the fact that you can just walk away and work on another yeah, machine. Yeah, it frees me up to do other things in the factory now. It's because I don't just do the machine and I cover other areas and stuff. So it, it frees the manpower up to do other things as, while this is running. So it's making money without us being next to it. In at number three, a turning centre with a true travelling steady unique from CMZ. Interesting to hear the thoughts of Simon Matthews about his new CMZ turning centre, a machine with what's been described as unique feature, the steady moves on the axis provides more support to the turning process. Axis machine? It is, it's got a Y axis, uh, tailstock and a travelling steady, automatic steady on it. It uh, must have been quite some decision because there's a lot of these uh, types of machines available in the marketplace. What points did you, or what points pushed you in the direction of actually ordering this brand? Uh, the main reason was uh, the, the travelling steady on a separate slideway, which, which allows us to machine long slender parts. And in at number four, Matsura MX 525 axis wows at Southern Manufacturing again. It's no secret that Masura have done exceptionally well in the UK with their single table MX525 axis machine, with an array of new customers being generated from the MX series, previous appearances at the Southern Manufacturing event. Joe Reynolds spoke to Mazak's Mark Cumberland at this year's show about the success of the MX520. Multi-pallet machines, whether it's five axis or horizontal, than we've ever done in the past. Sure, so this is a standalone machine, but you offer similar machines to this now with, uh, with integrated automation as well. We do, yes. You can have this machine with um, either four pallets uh, or as a single table machine, yes. And the next one is Akuma's new LB3000 lathe with an internal robot arm. Ian Horton takes MTD CNC to Akuma Europe in Germany to show the world premiere of this LB3000 EX2 with a robot with an armroid robot arm. This machine has been developed to have a robot inside the machine to maximize automation. The armroid system has been developed by Akuma as a single source machine with their own collision avoidance system. This machine you'll see at Mac 2020 on the NCMT stand. You can do this is because of our collision avoidance system that we use on the machine. Um, you don't have masses of programming. You don't have to have a a knowledge of robot programming in order to work this robot. That's quite interesting actually because I, I, I think a lot, obviously a lot of automation, a lot of movement actually inside the machine. Obviously this third party integrators like Vericut for instance, uh, you know, a lot of operators are actually using that type of system, it's great. But you've built your own collision avoidance uh, solution, have you? Yeah, basically once once the, the machine knows the model of the of the part that's in there that pre, pre-machined and, and post-machined, uh, you put the model in, you put the model in of the tools, 
because we are the manufacturer of the machine and we're also the we're in control of the control itself um, basically the collision avoidance the robot you only teach it where it starts and where it finishes the robot intelligently knows where it can and can't go and where it can swing the part and where it can't swing the part social news this week the halifax rack and screw company not many machine shops like this one has racked up a whopping 14,000 views on youtube this week We've had over 50,000 impressions on Twitter and 48% increase in new followers on LinkedIn. So thank you so much for your continued support on this. Our Facebook group CNC Machinist UK is growing very nicely. So make sure that you join in if you haven't already to discuss all the things CNC with our 550 members. Well, that's all from me this week. I'll see you again for another Week in Review.